part one, part two. Part one, part two. Part one, part two. Okay. I don't want to see it yet. That will be the last one. Uh. With Crossbell liberation and walls made between Oliver and Skela, Skela, Skera, things were finally starting to slow the row. There was no better time to take a well-deserved family vacation, so we did just that, a very special destination in mind. Mm, just get that crisp, cool Ymir air in your lungs! And now that we're all checked in, it's time to go do some tourism! Alright, alright. I feel like you've been drooling over the site since we took the cable car in. Oh, Estelle, when are you going to start acting your age? Hmm, <sighs> even Reen's parents were regarding you like an excitable child when saying hello. <laughs> Sorry, I've just wanted to come here ever since he told us about it. And we couldn't skimp on our first family vacation with you as a bright. With how hard it is for Dad to find time these days, Adio knows when we'll get another. We gotta enjoy this to the max! How I wish that weren't the case. I hate how little time we get to spend together nowadays. In fact, I can't even remember when we had our last vacation together. And then when I finally carved out the time for such a lovely occasion, I can't even ditch the uniform. We don't mind. If anything, we've got your work to thank for picking the vacation spot to pull this off. You going back and forth to Erebonia from home to discuss their army's future meant needing somewhere close to work, so... See? Everything worked out. They told you they probably wouldn't call you in anyway, right? So don't stress and take it easy. That's in the plan. I really hope you have a great time with us, Ren. Now, if you want to buy any presents for your classmates or anything, just say the word. Oh, really? Well, if you're sure. Is it just me, or do those two still seem kind of awkward around each other? Yeah, I thought the same thing. They're still being a little distant with one another. We've spent so little time together since Rin was adopted. Probably still have some adjusting to do. Hopefully this vacation will give them a chance to bond. I believe X X X X Liber. The Bright family were excited to experience all the cool of Ymir shopping, relaxing in their food bath. Like, wait a second. Oh, they did that because they they don't want to do graphic on Liber like this. Maybe maybe it's a surprise. Okay. This eventually led them out into Ymir Valley's edge, where they could see a mighty f waterfall. Holy crapoli, get a lot of that. I've never seen a waterfall so big totally frozen over like this. Likewise, you won't think it was March already. No wonder Bar Baron Schweizer recommend we come to see it. There's something mystical about this part of the valley, isn't there? Look at the mon monument that says to be this area has a lot of history. I imagine it's a vestige of old animism. From what I learned in Erin Village, it could be used on to access the spirit path. Are you okay, Ren? You aren't the most dressed for the weather. Here, I'll let you my jacket for a few. I'll be fine, thank you. The long walk up here kept me from getting too cold. Just need to move around a bit more. I'm sure I will warm up in no time. 
Well, if you're sure. Oh, to be young again. I'm layered to high heaven and all my limbs are still going numb. Well, my metabolism is much better than yours. <laughs> Oh, still. Oh, hey, talk about cheap shot. I've been itching to get a good snowball fight going since I got here. Besides, I believe someone just says something about warming up through physical activity. <clears throat> I here in Unifor today, so I can't play around too much. Or can't I? Uh, uh, there is some fire in that belly. It's not as though anyone is around. I accept your challenge. You will ne need a walker to get back to your mirrors and throw with you. Prepare yourself to for a snow down throw down. <laughs> you sure they are both children? Mirror of them takes a while to lose him, that's for sure. But it's nice to see Dad showing love in his signature um, awkward way. I suppose you're right. I do like that aspect of him. They're so alike in that regard. Hey, easy. Less talking, more planting. I really rather not. I don't want my cloth getting dirty. Boo, don't be such a spoiled sport. You're welcome to call to all come at me if you think you can win. Still doesn't stand a chance on her own. Oh, you are so in for it now. Well, we'll see who doesn't stand a chance. When? You got a month full of snow. Too slow. This is not ideal. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm very Cassius. Oopsie. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Boronas. Mistake. I don't think he's going to accept your apology. I kind of started this, but we can't, we can't have him causing a scene here. Here we go again. Cassius, come on, man. See if you can stop at him, but you don't hurt him more than necessary. I know. Uh, I won't fight. Oh, okay. Boo. My, it sounds like you have quite the day already. I can't believe you were able to tame that boar. That wants a relative recent arrival to the mountain. He's quite aggressive and always seems to be on edge. He started quite a few passerby before this, so I was beginning to think something needed to be done. But I should never have introduced you to the place now in such danger past present. You have my deepest apologies. But please also accept my heartfelt thanks on behalf of all Ymir for calming him. I'm deeply grateful. I thought perhaps I should have expected no less from the children of the legendary Bridger General Cass Cassius Bright. <laughs> oh, it was nothing really. And seriously, please don't thank us. That poor board never would have come over if I hadn't smacked him in the face with a snowball. All we did was calm him down and see to his wound. Speak of wounds, he clearly had a lot of them from before our fight. If he really was a recent arrival to the area, it may have been a turf war with the other boars that put him on edge. Hopefully he'll start being a little calmer now. I hope so, we'll keep an eye out either way. But please, do get started on your food. I won't want it getting cold. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you don't need to tell me twice, I'm starving. 
I'll see. I never thought that they would come when I would be able to drink with the famous Cassius Bright. It's Cassius. I hear you're personally told my son as a fellow aide of... Oh, yeah. It's truly really an honor to have you in our household. All I did was give him a gentle push in the right direction. It was his strength that let him achieve what he did. And while I may have a high rank in the army, I can't say the same for my position with my family. I spend so much of time working, I barely have any spare for them. I can only imagine being the head of, the, of an entire nation army must come with a small number of hardships. On a related note, with the power balance on the continent changing so significantly, there is much I would like to discuss. But you came here on a family vacation, so what say we leave such serious talk for another time? <laughs> I think that will be f for the best. On another matter, then, I hear that you are an avid angler as well as a hunter. Are there any peculiar fishing spots you would recommend in Ymir? A fellow fisherman, are you? I quite enjoy going upstream in the valley and opening a hole in the ice myself. Now, there is an interesting idea. Uh, just to hit it off quickly. Roland may not have as much natural beauty as Roland. And... Okay, I should stop this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it still has its fair share. Perhaps that fact's helping them bond. I mean, we all get along great with Ren, with Rin, God, too. So maybe you're on onto something. You know, it's so weird thinking of how my perception of her body changed over the year. Back in Liber, it used to feel like this scary place really far away. But now, it feels so close and dear to my heart. Yeah, I never thought we'd come to live in times like this either. We lost a lot along the way. But I'm glad we can finally live together in peace like this. Together we enjoy a delicious meal as we told story about Rin and Class 7. And before we knew it had gotten late, so we returned to the Phoenix Wings and went for a soak in the hot spring. I can feel the stift in my back and shoulder from all that work melting away. You really been busy lately, huh? Although I'm not surprised. Having to handle rebuild after the war and matters letting to Crosswell at the same time, I can be easy. I'm playing a part in decision about Crosswell independence with Princ Princess Claudia too. Speaking of whom, it's incredible just how dependable she's become. During the international conference a while back, the new president of Calvar was constantly trying to assert his dominions. But she was just as capable as Prince Oliver or Princess Alfin in keeping him in check. I'm glad they are, they are all giving everything their best. President Graham Hart seems like he will be a formidable adversary then. Calvert, president of Calvert, oh my gosh, and his face when we did, oh, god damn, ooh, he's gonna be a big thing there, right? Without a doubt, he's a, at least as cunning as President Rock Smith, if not more so. Thinking of this continent future makes me more than a little uneasy, I'll tell you that. It's not just Calvert either. There is still worrying signs here in Arabonia. To say nothing of the fact we haven't heard of from our That's true, that's true like true 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 like a big true. 
with a Phantasma Blaze plan over. They're probably getting ready for their next move. They have some personal shakes up too, so we probably don't have to concern ourselves with them in the short terms, but I'm sure they will be back. Yeah, I won't expect them to stay silent for long. <sighs> well, I wish I had a bit more time to relax. Even if I do have a lot to worry about, it ho no, hey, hey. The only time I can make for a family is between jobs like this. I haven't had much time to talk to Ren either, and I will always feel kept at arm's length when I do. I haven't been able to give you all the attention you deserve. I really want to go going forward. I believe I speak for everyone when I say we love that. I don't think you need to worry too much about things with Ren though. Right now you're just not used to one another, so you're both uncomfortable letting the other get too close. As long as you don't give up, the wall between you will break on its own before long, I'm sure of it. Ah, you really have ma matured, Joshua. I hope you're right, Ren's part of our family now, so I want her to feel like it. Initially, when are you and Estelle planning on getting married? That's true. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> All this talk of family just remind me. You were a present. He was a present. Adopted. Adopted. He, he was a present to Estelle. So. A present. A present. He was like, oh my gosh. Okay, he wasn't like that, you know, we, we all know how it was, but it was kind of like, oh my gosh, this, this guy, Arboros, yeah, oh my gosh, for my daughter. When I saw Sheros are all goosied up, I, it made me want to see my daughter like that one day too. So I won wondered if maybe there was something holding you two back. Well, can I get an answer? As much as I will pay me if you were to marry into family, into ah okay, in, if you were to marry into the family, I can, I could allow that. Is this really the best time for this discussion? Ah, you just can't be the good hot spring, not even with a stick. It's like my world body on express flight to Relaxville. The scenario is so pretty too. I've got to bring Tira here one day. I see what you mean. The spring in Elmon and Erie were lovely too. But the way these springs incorporate elements of both Harmonia and East Eastern culture is really something special. I'm so jealous you got to try the ones at Erin. I never got to go in there. The idea of a little bath in a hiding village is so dreamy. I'll have to get someone to take me, me one day. How about we go to Erin for our next family vacation then? That would be even harder to organize than this one was. But won't it be nice if we could? What's up? Oh, it's nothing. It's just that the fact I'm on a family vacation at all hasn't fully sunk in yet. I think I finally understand why the Hairwolves don't get bored of going to Michelin all the time. So that's what it was. Well, don't worry, because the fun time we'll ha be having together are only just getting revved up. We'll go that meal with Harold's family to look forward to, haven't we? That's true. I'm going to have to tell them about you hitting that board with a snowball. Please, don't bring that up and embarrass me. I feel like people are finally starting to think of me as an adult and that would ruin it. It's so in character for you though. By the way, you and Joshua are going to Crossville soon, right? 
Does that have anything to do with the consultate Erbon and Calvar plan to open there? Yeah, we were asked to escort the secretary who will be working at them safely into Crossville. <gasps> we know who she is! <coughs> Kalika. <coughs> Kalika. Oh my god, they're the. Oh, Ka I forgot how, how to pronounce her name. God damn. With a, the K, you know. It was a direct request from the ambassador. Maybe it's not her, but no, she's. If, if it's them, then she, it's her. And Cray too, so we got to do a good job. I see. It seems like I'll be best acting on my own after all then. That message Grandpa George managed to get to me has me rather concerned. You know, Ren, there is something I've been meaning to say to you. Oh, what would that be? I know you for a long time now, so I know how special you are, and how much a genius you are, too. I doubt there is anything in this world you couldn't accomplish if you put your mind to it. I swear you shot up a few rage, too. You notice, huh? I hope you are ready for me to become far prettier than you will be ever be. <clears throat> it pained me to let that go. But prettiness isn't the issue here. What I'm trying to say is, I know I don't need to worry about you too much because you can take care of yourself. But please don't feel like you need to handle all your problems on your own, okay? You're our little sister and Joshua and I care a lot about you. Don't worry, I'm, a, I'm well aware. If I really need help, I'll let you know. I'm sure you won't hesitate to come to my aid, wherever you were. Naturally. I'm sure that feels the same way too. About that... What's going on here, gals? Can dear all that join? <laughs> <laughs> Looks who just show up uninvited. Ah, only a real bore would interrupt two ladies having a private conversation. You may want to rethink your behavior before all the women of the war start hating you. Uh, my daughter's words are lo like dagger to my heart. <laughs> Is that gunfire? Sounds like a little ways from the village, but it still calls for the concern we should go and investigate. I didn't expect all of you to show up. It's not like we could just ignore that sound of gunfire. Do you know what's going on? Not yet, but there seems to be a battle going on in the valley. Occasionally, we can hear the sound of a boar cry amidst the gunfire too. There is no sign the village is in any danger so far. But this isn't something we can ignore. Could we ask you to stay in Ymir for now until we know it's safe? Your consideration is appreciated, but we are an ordinary tourist. We'll take care of the investigation. Could you make sure everyone in the village is ready to evacuate in the meantime? But... You know, you're probably right. This is a task best left to bracers. But as long as you are here, you are our guest, so please take care. Will do. This time I won't stand idly by. We need to repay our host for their generosity after all. Naturally, that's good for me too. We're counting on you both. I swear, let me fight! <laughs> I did fall in daydream, right? I don't know. Ah, oh, come on! Get out of the way, you big dumb boar. Give me a break, you must know you can't hurt me. Just let lost. 
fucking that's enough. I thought so. It would be you again, won't it? What are you even doing here? It's Delbright? Why are you here? And why do you have two X enforcers and Cassius Sprite with you? I feel like we are going to be running into you for the rest of our days. If it isn't Gilbert Stein, steward of the former mayor of Rouen. You're still wanting in Libera, I will have you know. We, we, we just finished making you better, and now you're all hurt again. Run along now, okay? As for you, I hear you were shut down with your ship last time. But you just keep coming back like an irritating little weed. Don't you? How dare you call me a weed? I'm more like a dandelion that can't grow anywhere, even in the most arid desert. Wait, that's not a very cool metaphor. J -j -j Just pretend I say something dramatic and awesome, alright? Why don't you spare us the war play and tell us what the heck you're doing here? And why were you attacking that poor boar? It was just out here trying to live its life. I'll have you know that he attacked me first. It was doing some shooting practice when he showed up out of nowhere. Why must my life be so full of woe? I won't even bother with a stupid place like this if I didn't need to knock that smoke rocket down a peg. I don't even know what are you rambling about anymore. But this place is of natural beauty. You can't just use it for a target practice. Wait, so that's why... Yeah, I imagine that boar was fighting to protect his territory. Anyway, you have done enough damage already. Surrender and come quickly, Gilbert. Why don't you get out of that machine so that we can talk? Ah, uh, see if there's no way I'm coming out. This is bad. Unlike my odds again, the two X Enforcers, never mind Cassius Pride. Can I get out of this with my usual pretending to beg for. Oh, why am I ever worried? If the Rampage Boar couldn't, couldn't overcome my defense, what chance do they have? And I can fly, and if I beat Cassius Pride, our boars will totally make me an Enforcer on the spot. Ha, <laughs> you just try and beat me? You're gonna regret ever challenge the great Gilbert Stain. Yeah, we'll see about that. Come on, Joshua. See, you two can't even scratch me. The heck? Since when was this thing so tough? That bear is extremely powerful. All that time spent kissing Professor Novartis as pain off when he added this feature of my G patch. Now it's invincible. No one can get through this barrier, not X Enforcer, no Cassius Pride. I'm going to enjoy slowly filling you up powerful less fools full of elite. Okay, I'm calling shenanigans now. Either way, it's not wrong that it's going to be difficult to penetrate. Ah, uh, unfortunately so. A high density barrier like that could repel even a pointed blank shot from a cannon. I don't remember that G Apache being able to generate this much energy. Which means... Uh, where my barrier go? And, uh... Oh, 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 oh... Why this thing is so hot all of a sudden? Orbital energy, 278% over capacity, activation, self-destruction... Uh, what, what? 
I think it's going to burst her. It's gonna blow up, is it? I'm afraid it looks like that way. The craft's orbital energy was never meant to power such a potent barrier. Could the professor mind have been elsewhere when you begged him to add that? He did a very shoddy job. This can be happening. We can let it detonate on a snowy mountain like this. It could cause an avalanche. I'm with you there. We gotta stop it from exploding no, so no harm comes to Ymir. Leave this to me. I will launch that craft high into the air so it can explode somewhere safer. Can you even do that? That won't be easy even for you, surely. This is nothing, but I will need some time to gather the energy for it. It's going to be a gamble whether I can direct in somewhere it can explode safely, but I'm sure I can pull it off. It's time to like this when I got be a dad you can be proud of. I will believe in you. I'm not opposed to a gamble, but I can help make your odds a little better. While I'm helping by time, I'll use the valley's terrain and Clima to calculate the safest place for it to detonate. Perfect. I'm counting on you then. Can you two help her by time? Yeah, because I was totally gonna sit here making snow angels. Alright, <gasps> let's do this, guys. Right behind you. Let us begin. <clears throat> Watch oh. yourself. This will be tough. Thank you. Gleam. Calamity sphere. Now then. Activating drive. Not a chance. You're finished. Ha! Ha! Ready to go. Swiftly. Shadow! Moving out. <laughs> Let's go. And go! Ha! <laughs> kicker! My turn now. <laughs> Think you can handle this? Meet your end! <gasps> Wide open! Too slow! Moving out! You're finished! Yeah! <laughs> Ready to go! <laughs> there! No problem! <laughs> Let's go! Swiftly! Shadow! Let's go! And go! <laughs> Here's the kicker! Very well! For me, our chance. Too slow. Ready to go. Let's do this. There. No problem. <laughs> now then. Swiftly. Shadow. Very well. Arcus activated. Ready to go. Uh -huh. My turn now. And go. Here, <laughs> kicker. Yet! Ooh. Moving out! Arcus, activate! Huh! You think you're being cute? Take that! Well, we're the bride, we're ah! cute. Ah. We won. Now let's move on. Ren, I was going to revive you, I swear. Yeah! Do what I say, you useless lump of metal! Radios! Spare me! Dad! Ren! 
It's all up to you now! The safest location to detonate is at 9 o'clock. Got it. Leave this to me. You've got this! I believe in you, Cassie. Dad. Whether it's Cassius or something else, I'm just happy you think of me as family. But I have to admit... You calling me dad does get me a lot more fired up! <laughs> No sign of an avalanche, either. I knew you could do it, Dad. You can be pretty cool. Sometimes. Whew. Well, I could have done that in my sleep. <laughs> but I owe most of it to Ren, really. You should take credit where it's due. Very nicely done, Cassius. <laughs> mm. <laughs> It's okay if you keep calling me dad, you know? <clears throat> nope. Cassius huh? feels more right to me. <laughs> I think the wall between them finally came down. Yeah, that's another problem solved. With that peace was once again restored to Ymir. We made our way to Gilbert Crash site just to be sure, but we couldn't find him or his archaism. If only I could believe for even a second that was the last we see of him. After that, we found the injured board and nursed him back to heal before returning to them. Barry Schweizer offered us a more formal reward for the help, but we were just going what was right, so we turned him down. Then, before we knew, the day was over, and our happy vacation came to an end. With hands full of souvenirs, the Baron and Lady instead, on in lieu of a reward, we huddled to say our final farewells. You got, you gonna, you gonna finish with a black screen? Uh, Freaking, where do I put the freaking microphone? Thank you, thank you both so much. We had so much fun here. I'm really sad to have to say to say goodbye. Please, after what you have done, she'll be throwing you a parade. You were supposed to be a vacation, and you still did so much to help us. I don't really as thought we have. We gave you the welcome you truly deserve, given all that you have done for our son. Not at all, you were extremely gracious host. From my family to yours, we are incredibly grateful you allow us to take such a wonderful vacation. Yeah, if anything, we're like a little excited in our lives. <laughs> I can't say for certain that we were never bored. And it was our pleasure to get to help Rin's hometown. We have made some great memories here too. I'm delighted you all feel that way. 
you are all welcome to return anytime you please. We will have springs and food waiting for you. You mean it? We'll have to bring all our friends next time. Thank you again for everything. Please give our regards to our Ashin friend and his sister too. What a lovely family they are. I couldn't agree more. They seem to pride their surrounding just by being there. I hear nothing but good things about them, of course, but the rumors were easily surprised. I quite agree. I hope we can meet them again one day. Are you trying to say something? <laughs> Are you guys going to Libera and I need to meet you guys? What are you saying? That hit me. Oh my god, oh. I won't be using a towel. I believe in you, Cassius. Dad. Whether it's Cassius or something else, I'm just happy you think of me as family. But I have to admit... You calling me dad does get me a lot more fired up! I believe in you, Cassius. Dad. Whether it's Cassius or something else, I'm just happy you think of me as family. But I have to admit... You calling me dad does get me a lot more fired up! I believe in you, Cassius. Dad. Whether it's Cassius or something else, I'm just happy you think of me as family. But I have to admit... You calling me dad does get me a lot more fired up! I believe in you, Cassius. Dad. Whether it's Cassius or something else, I'm just happy you think of me as family. But I have to admit... You calling me dad does get me a lot more fired up! 